All right, guys, here's our second lesson on solving equations, hopefully an easier one. Or not easier, last class should have been pretty easy too. But this is a quick, easy one. There's multiple ways to solve equations. However you solve it and get to the right answer by showing your work, I'll be good. All right, so my first idea for this one is I will always move the smaller variable. Just makes everything positive, a little bit easier to, to work with for me. If you don't like to, do whatever you want. So then I'm going to move my number to the other side by doing the opposite. All right, if you can't do negative 95 divided by 5 in your head, think of negative 100. 5 goes into negative 120 times, or negative 20 times. So that means 5 goes into negative 95, negative 19 times. Do some rounding if you need to. All right, number two, I'm going to distribute. I'm going to move to the left to get my variables. All right. As we go through these, if you want to do the problem before I do, pause the video until I get done. So number two should be negative 12. All right, going quick, because hopefully we got this, as long as we don't make careless mistakes. All right, number three. Go ahead and pause this and try this on your own, and I will keep going and start it whenever you need to. As you do this, if you move things the other direction than I do, you're just going to have the opposite opposite number signs, and that's fine because we're going to get to the same place. All right, we're going to get an improper fraction, 64 over 5. Do not change that to 12.8. Don't change it to 12 to 4 fifths. Leave it as 64 over 5. That is an acceptable answer. No reason to do any more work than we need to. All right, this time, instead of solving for a number, or solving for a variable and getting a number answer, we're going to get an expression. All right, so it's 3y plus 4x equals 9. We're going to solve for y. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to move my x term. We get 9 minus 4x. We could also have negative 4x plus 9. Both are good. Divide by 3. We have two ways. We can do it as a whole. And this is an acceptable answer. Not the best looking answer, but acceptable. Or do it in pieces. The second way, probably this one is the better answer, because that's going to help us graph a line and just work with it a little bit easier later. All right, number five. 8xyz squared equals a. We're still solving for y, so I need to do whatever I can to get that y term alone. All right, so it says eight times. So to get rid of that eight, I'm going to divide by eight. Also has an x times. So I'm going to divide by x and a z squared, so I'm going to divide by z squared. This helps because my a's cancel, my x's cancel, my z squares cancel. A and x z squared. Straightforward. Don't do too much more work than you need to. Don't divide, then divide, then divide, and have a big ugly fraction. Right? Just solving literal equations, solving for a variable. Last one. Y plus m over p divided by z. So I need to get rid of the p first. So I'm going to multiply both sides by p. y plus m equals, I'm going to say pz, because I'm going to put them in alphabetical order. One quick, easy step. Your pz minus m. 
Don't make these problems harder than they're supposed to be. If you don't see it, change all the variables, other variables except the ones you're solving for into a number and do it that way and solve it that way and you'll still get the same thing. All right, so there's our second lesson, real quick and easy. All right, this is your classwork assignment, page 30, 15 through 25 odd, 33 through 49 odd, 43, 47, 49. After you complete these, check your answers out of the back of the book. Flip to the back and find page 30 and check your answers. All the odds are in the back. That's why you're going to get a lot of these. All right. If you have any questions, let me know and work on this. This will not be due next class, which would be Thursday or Monday, depending on what day you have. But it will be due shortly after that, probably the following class. So get it done so you don't get far behind. All right, let me know if you have any questions.